Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers coming to you from the State Capitol building in downtown Lansing. Our topic today is higher education. Joining me now to talk about it is State Senator Morris Hood III, representing the 3rd District, a Democrat I should mention, which uh, represents River Rouge, Dearborn and some portions uh, northwest and southwest portions of the city of Detroit. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Always been a hot topic, certainly on and off, more so some years than others. How do we make higher education more affordable for students in our state? Um, ideas have come and gone. Any new brilliant ones lately that uh, those of us with high school students can cling and all of our hope to? Well, first we have to continue a process of funding it, uh, sufficiently funding it in the from the state of Michigan, uh, making sure that the colleges, uh, we're talking about uh, community colleges and uh, universities get the proper funding. Um, we've been down in funding uh, back from the uh, you know 70s and 80s. Funding has been cut more and more to the uh, higher education community, and uh, we want to make sure. Now, now that we know that that uh, uh, we need a higher education, the days of getting out of high school and going to get a job um, is not here anymore. Those jobs aren't there, and we need a higher education for our for our children for our grandchildren, et cetera. So we have to do that, affordable, make it affordable by making sure that we sufficiently fund it from the state of Michigan, first of all. And in doing so, and me sitting on the Appropriations Committee and sitting on the Higher Education Subcommittee of Appropriations, uh, trying to, to make sure we do that by uh, fighting for those types of, the programs that are there, uh, things of that nature to make sure that we sufficiently fund Because none of us want to actually see our kids go out of state uh, to go to college. We want them to be right here because most of the times we find out that kids that go out of state don't come back because they find out that, you know, they find jobs otherwhere, but we, other places, but we don't, we want to make sure that they're here. We want to have to get on a, a plane or in a car to go drive hours to go see our grandchildren. Uh, but so we're trying to do everything we can um, to do that through different, different programs. Um, there's a, if you, if you go online, you can look at the 2020 program that was introduced by um, Senate Democrats about fully funding education or a higher education for uh, high school students by cutting out um, tax loopholes, tax loopholes that we give uh, businesses that actually weren't effective. We found out that some of them were not doing completely what we thought they were going to do by bringing jobs in and that was one of some of the criteria that we think that we use by using tax incentives so that jobs will come. And for those of the, for those, those tax incentives that are, are not uh, giving us bang for our buck, we could take those away. And if we took all of those away that aren't effective, we could be able to uh, uh, educate or through a higher education if most, if not all of the students coming out of high school in the state of Michigan. So that's just a matter of uh, convincing everybody in Lansing that that's the thing to do. So that has not been you, has not been passed yet, obviously. What about local solutions? The Kalamazoo Promise, for example, is that something that we could could make broader, make statewide, create something like that? And that's somewhat similar to what this 2020 plan was was brought in. It's somewhat a model of something like that, but on a larger scale. And then when we started the process of trying to put that together, it was like, well, where would we get the money from to actually do this? So we started. Uh, looking at these different programs, these different tax incentives to say, hey, this is some place where we could get the money from and try and, and, and as we talk, getting more bang for our buck for our dollars. Do you see the cost of a, of a college education very quickly coming down at all in the next few years or is it a long process? We're hoping that we're hoping that it, it will start to come down. But as the state cuts funding this year, we had a 6.1 percent increase uh, in the budget for higher education. But over the past couple years, uh, we've had uh, decreases. So we're actually behind uh, behind in funding our universities. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Today's Comcast Newsmaker with State Senator Morris Hood III, a Democrat from the 3rd District.